Cantonese roasted duck is known for its juicy and succulent meat and its over-the-top crispy skin. It is a must-eat during any family gathering. Hi all my foodies, it's me again, Cece. So Thanksgiving is just right around the corner. I want to say happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And thank you so much for all your support for all these years. So this year, if you don't want to roast up a whole turkey, you want to switch it up a little bit, I have just the thing for you. You can also try to roast up a whole Cantonese roasted duck. How do you make it? Watch this video to find out how you can make it at home professionally. So to clean the duck, wash the duck in warm water and then pat dry with paper towels. Um, and if there's extra fat right here, you can also uh, remove it with your hands, it's quite easy. So when you choose the duck, if you can, choose a leaner one. That will make the roasted duck crispier. And now we're going to pluck out its feathers with a pair of tweezers. If you have a cooking torch, you can just use it to uh, burn out all these stubborn pin feathers. Uh, but I don't have one, so this will just do. Now we're also going to remove its Oyster sauce. Garlic. Um, I'm just gonna take out the duck from the fridge and then pour the marinade inside the duck's cavity and wrap it all over it inside. Um, yeah, just like this. And then now I have uh, this uh, stainless steel turkey laser. Um, I'm gonna seal it like this. Um, I'm gonna start all the way from this uh, bottom place and then just work all the way up. Okay, so here is the fun part. Uh, to blow air under the skin of the duck, we're gonna need uh, an air compressor. Um, but if you really don't have this, you can also maybe just try like a straw and then use your mouth to blow air into it. That's gonna be very tiring, but you can definitely give it a try. So first we're gonna put the duck breast side up. Insert a core around the neck area right here. Um, of course, under the skin of the duck. Cover up the cavity and the rest of the neck with paper towels or just your hands. And we want to make sure that no air is leaking. Uh, so what you're going to do next is you're going to blow air into it for about one minute. And you're going to see your duck start inflating like a balloon. It's super, super cool. And the skin and the meat are separated. So by doing so, uh, we're ensuring that our duck is going to have really crispy skin. And yeah, it's going to be super delicious. Now we're going to flip the duck and then insert the core around the neck again, also under the skin. And again, we're going to blow air into it for about like a minute long. And then you'll see that the skin start inflates like a balloon um, and the skin and the meat are separated. So a lot of people think that you only blow air into the duck uh, with pecking duck. Beijing Kao Ya, but in fact, high end Cantonese places also roast the duck this way because it is so much more delicious. 
So to make the duck skin nice and firm, we're gonna secure this S-shaped hook on the duck's neck. Then in a large pot, we're gonna boil eight cups of water and bring it to a boil. Turn off the heat immediately. And then we're gonna hold on to the hook and then use the ladle to pour the liquid over the duck until the skin becomes firm and turns white for about two minutes. So by doing so, again, the skin will be nice and firm and therefore when you roast it, uh, it will be crispy and then yeah, super delicious. Now immediately we want to rinse it in cold water or actually ice water. Uh, this will help to firm up the skin, help it tighten it up. Quit. Uh, in a large pot, we're gonna add eight cups of water and bring it to a boil. And we're gonna add rose cooking wine, red vinegar, and mottos. Mix well and then turn off the heat. To poach the duck with the liquid, hold on to the hook and then pour the liquid over the duck for about two minutes. Um, by doing so, it will make the duck skin crispy and nice and also add some color to the skin. And of course, add another layer of flavors. Okay, so now we can take out the hook. And then I'm gonna cut out the neck um, and the head. To air dry the duck, place a cooling rack or baking rack on a plate. And then put the duck on the rack, breast side up. Uh, and then dry it in the fridge for 24 hours to 48 hours. During the baking day, um, we're gonna preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 uh, Celsius. And then cover foil paper all over your roasting pan so your roasting pan won't get dirty. and then place a roasting rack on it. I'm also gonna cover up the feet and the wings with foil paper uh, to prevent burning and also for it to turn super dark. Let it rest in room temperature for 20 minutes. And transfer it in the oven and bake it for 10 minutes at 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius. So breast side up first. You want the temperature to be high first so the skin would crisp up a lot faster and it is kind of set. And after 10 minutes, we're gonna lower the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius and continue to bake for another 20 minutes. And now we're taking it out from the oven and flip the duck side to breast side down and transfer it back to the oven and bake it for uh, another 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius. So we're taking it out from the oven one more time and I just wanna take out all the foil papers. Put it back in the oven and we're gonna bake it one last time at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius for 20 minutes. The smell of my kitchen smells so good. It smells like roasted duck. Actually, you know what? The entire house probably smells like roasted duck right now. So, 
Let me just give it a try and see how it tastes like. Mmm, look at that. Oh my god, the skin is so crispy. Mmm. Our Cantonese Rare Sit Deck today is super yummy, super delicious. The meat is moist and you see there's a lot of juice coming out. And when I bite into the skin, it is so crispy, so nice. So let me know what you are planning to cook this Thanksgiving. Comment below, um, subscribe, thumbs up. Also share this awesome video with your friends and family. I also like to stay in touch on Facebook. Uh, just search for CC Lee and you'll find me. Okay, so that's it today. And I just want to wish everyone a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Bye now. Oh, Mm. Mm.